Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, my <laughs> peanut gallery over here. But anyway, today I'm gonna try to get some of these uh, sweet potatoes up. I already cheated a little bit and got started. It doesn't look too good so far, but we're gonna go ahead and, and get the rest of them up. Um, I'm gonna start by getting all this foliage out of the way. I'm gonna give most of it to, well, I'm gonna give some of it to the chickens and some of it's gonna go to the compost. So, uh, come on along, let's get it done. So I dug up some, but they've all been eaten by the, I bet it's these daggone chipmunks out here. <clears throat> Look at that one. That was a big one, too. Man, I might have left them in too long. I think that's probably part of the problem. I mean, it produced well. Something just eating on them. Let me see. These are under the ground. So let me see if I get something right here. Nothing there. There's one that ain't eating. Oh my goodness. Look at how big that joker right there is. It's all eaten off though. Man, that's a big one. Yep, might be a groundhog. Cause a lot of this stuff is still under the ground and they've been eating on it. So Yeah, I think it's a bust. I think all of them got eaten on. Well, no matter how long you've been gardening, there's always a chance to have a failure. So I consider this year's sweet potatoes to be a semi-failure. And I say semi-failure because I am going to get some sweet potatoes. So I am going to get some, but the vast majority of them were eaten up by something underground. So I'm thinking um, chipmunk, maybe because they be they they burrow and stuff around here. Um, I don't think it was a groundhog because I got these huge rocks around here, and they don't like areas like that. So I think the chipmunks got me, um, but. Silver lining is I did get sweet potatoes, and that's the most important thing. I got a harvest. Um, I'm going to cure these up, and then I should uh, have enough to make a pie or two, and then some for, you know, just to have as, as um, baked sweet potatoes or something like that. Um, normally, I like to do something like uh, sweet potato fries or something like that, but... Um, We'll see. I don't, I don't think I have enough for, you know, to to do that and what I want to do with, you know, the, the pies and whatnot. So. so I laid them out here in the greenhouse so they can cure. Um, I typically cure them for about five days or so. You want the skins to get tough. As you can see, the skins 
real uh, thin right there. So letting them cure, you want them in, you can do them in the greenhouse. I normally do mine. I, I normally just leave them right out there in the, in the garden or on my driveway. But since the, since the voles, I think it's voles that, that got to them. Since the voles like them so much, I figure I put them up here in the greenhouse. So I may go seven days instead of five days in here. But typically you want them out in the sun, let them get some sun for five days. And then you want to store them in a, in a cool, dry place. I just put them down in my, my little shelter that I call the barn. I put them down there and I just cover them up with a blanket and they stay good for a very, very, very long time. As long as I didn't cut them. So like this right here, where I nicked that one, I'll just eat that one first, you know. Um, any of them that I cut into like that, I'll just, I'll just eat that one first because they won't store very well. That one too, but something like that right there. That right there, I'll just, I'll just store it, you know, and it'll, it'll stay for long, for a long time. Really, I won't be able to store too many because I'm going to use quite a bit to make uh, I'm thinking at least two pies out of this so <clears throat> all right well I got all my sweet potatoes up not as good of a harvest as I'd like but still definitely a blessing to be able to harvest what I did on your sweet potatoes Make sure that you cure them. Make sure that you cure them or else they won't store well. And those little thin skins will uh, will just, they'll keep rubbing raw or whatever and then they'll just go bad on you. So you want those thin, those thins, you want those skins to thicken up. And once they thicken up real nice, then you can go ahead and store them. You can store them in a cool place. Like I said, I like to put mine down in the barn, but you can put yours, you know, in a cool place in the house. Uh, away from light. You don't want light on them. Um, but, yep. Hey, you know, that's how that's how homesteading goes. That's how gardening goes. You win some, you lose some. But the good thing about it is that was always an experiment because, honestly, out of all the years I've grown sweet potatoes, I've never grown them in ground before. And so this year I said, hey, let me try it. So a couple of good positives to take away from it was I did – amend that soil and get that soil right because that soil looks amazing um that soil is, is is really really good and it actually i mean it worked great because i got really nice sweet potatoes just they were eaten up so um minus them being eaten up it was a success you know uh some of them i probably waited too long too so some of them probably sat in the ground too long and just went bad but um yeah, that's definitely a positive that the soil, you know, that soil looks amazing. And that's also a positive that next year, hey, no problem. I'll just keep growing those and raise beds. Um, somehow, some reason, that makes it harder for the voles or whatever was getting on them to, uh, to get to them. Because I've never had an issue, maybe one or two eaten, but not like that. Like that was a whole row almost that got eaten up. So, um yeah, so next year I may uh I may do a raised bed, like make a new raised bed in a different area and put some uh hardware cloth under the bottom and then uh fill it up and then plant my sweet potatoes in that. And that will definitely keep anything from coming up from the bottom. And um then I just have to keep an eye on the top to make sure that nothing's going in. And if if I see holes being dug. I need to get in there and get a cage over it or something like that to to keep keep everything out of it. But hey, that's how we do it. We garden, we homestead, we learn. Um, I've been doing gardening for a long time, and it hey, I keep learning every single year, and that's what that's what makes you a better gardener, I think. So if it wasn't for the failures, you wouldn't learn anything. Well, thank y'all for being with me. I really appreciate it. Check out the affiliates. Check out the Amazon link. I got a new affiliate below. Check them out. And I'll see you in the next video.